Well, as you can see, we are doing a bit of a remodel here in Music Room 3, and we may wind up moving back <laughs> our reference system back in here and, and giving Chris and the speaker designers Music Room 2. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. But anyway, all right. Fernando in Uruguay. Uruguay? Uh, which is better from the point of view of sound quality? To have a preamp and a power amp both tube-based, or have a tube preamp and a solid-state power amp, or to have a solid-state preamp and a tube power amp. Which combination of tubes and solid-state components makes more sense to you? Well, I am a big fan of tubes. I like vacuum tubes. I think it can be best utilized as a voltage gain stage. And that means you can't use it in the output of a power amplifier. I don't think it really is, is that good of a device as a current delivering device. So the first thing I'll say is to set, sort of set the ground rules up is we wouldn't want to use it at the output of a, of a power amp. So a vacuum tube power amp, eh, they can be good, aside from the fact that they're a royal pain in the keister and they don't have you know, great damping, all that kind of stuff. They can tend to be the ones that really do sound great. And, and there are some great sounding vacuum tube power amplifiers, for sure. They're usually, the really good ones are monsters. And eh, are, <laughs> these are power plants, but are BHK 600s in the same chassis? That's probably big enough. Although some of our guys want to double the size of, oh boy, anyway. Uh, I like vacuum tubes on the inputs of things. So if I were to have only one vacuum tube in the system, I would put it in the preamp. That would be my first choice. If I am allowed to have more, I would have it in the input stage of my preamp, and I'd have it in the input stage of my power amp fire, just like we currently do. All the BHK products are vacuum tubes, and they are only on the input, and in the case of the preamplifier, it's also the, the input and the gain stage. So that's my preference, and definitely don't want to encourage people to use it on the outputs. Now, having said that, our chief analog designer, Darren Myers, has shown some, I mean, amazing new technology that he's been developing in this, what I call a supercell. It's, it's scary. It's scary good. It sounds better than a tube. And I can't wait to see, I mean, it's right now in just out of the theoretical stage in the simulation, just cobbled together and we kind of did some aid being. So I think that may wind up being the future of what we do and replace vacuum tubes, but that's a ways off. Right now, vacuum tubes as voltage gain stages, and I like them in preamps and in the input stage of a power amp. Okay? Thanks for the question. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.